I would have to say it was north winds during a polar vortex, okay? Um, the temperature was 24 below. That was with the wind chill, okay? And there was probably 20 of us or more, and we slept outside underneath the parachute. And uh, just being winter camp alone, you spend a lot of time together in tight spaces, whether it's inside or out, because you're trying to keep warm. I think people got more acquainted and uh, more comfortable with each other that night because it, it became, I can't say a matter of survival because we weren't far away from, you know, heated shelter, but uh, yeah, that to, to lay there at night and listen to them talk about, you know, who this is, this is serious and, you know, and, and it's like, I'm gonna die. Stuff like that. It's like that uh, just for some reason that one stuck in my mind. But everyone woke up the next morning and it, they were a little bit different after that, you know? And it, it was like bragging rights that they got to bring back to sunny Oklahoma. One of the things that I've always loved about scouting is there is a ton of things that you can do that we offer to the scouts. So maybe they can expand their, their minds, their, their horizons, increase their confidence in themselves, build on their leadership skills, keep moving forward maybe, or another way to put it is stay hungry. Don't get trapped in one thing. In today's kind of um, voyeurist, voyeuristic, high-tech, a narcissistic world where everyone is like this or on their laptop or their uh, iPad, whatever. Um, go outside. Go play outside. There's a lot to do out here. Um, there's a whole big world. Don't miss it.